like your counterpart. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And I also join other members except the Honorable Navulindo, who I had opposed this report in supporting this report. But maybe if I may begin by informing the Honorable Navulindo, and uh, I am sure there are also other members from Mumias, uh, the larger Mumias area in Western Kenya, who are asking the question of Mumia Sugar Company. And indeed, they have a very good point in that Mumias also needs to be rescued. But he does, he knows that uh, Mumias is 20% owned by the public or by government and 80% uh, private by private investors. But I want to assure him that uh, there are also measures to ensure that Mumias is also rescued from the abyss that has bedeviled the sugar sector. And that Honorable Davulindo uh, will uh, ensure that even the people of uh, the greater Mumias area benefit from the uh, sugar sector reforms to ensure that money gets back to the people's pockets in Mumias and other areas in the sugar belt. Uh, Honorable Speaker, part of the proposals in this uh, memorandum by the National Treasury is the write-off of debts and, and taxes owed uh, to GOK or to the government of Kenya and penalties also owed to KRA by the sugar companies. And indeed, I want to support this measure that uh, even as we seek to commercialize and uh, privatize them, there is no private investor who will want to put their money in a company or a state entity that is bedeviled with a lot of liabilities, including tax liabilities, Honorable Speaker. And indeed, I support that measure to write off the, the debts that were owed to the government of Kenya to make them more attractive to investors who bring in their private capital, private expertise, and make the sugar companies more efficient and therefore end up uh, guaranteeing farmers more money getting into their pockets. Honorable Speaker, I've also had concerns on the period of time and I think it's the Honorable Makali who raised the issue of the period of 30 years. Uh, but Honorable Speaker, it's also good to appreciate that if you are to lease land and assets for a private investor to be able to have a bankable proposal, then the period of time of the lease, period of time when the investor will be able to recoup their investment, their capital investment, be able also to make a profit out of the investment. And therefore, I want to encourage even those who are that concerned to appreciate that we are bringing in private capital. And even you as a private investor, you will not want to get into a lease agreement where you have five years. Even people who are leasing land today to develop petrol stations and all that, nobody is going for a lease for five years. You are looking for 20, 25 years. And therefore, I want to encourage those members who are that concerned that indeed all those issues are issues that the National Treasury has looked into. Finally, Honorable Speaker, Mumia, Honorable Speaker, and I've heard even the Honorable Selassie has now considered that truly mambo ni matatu. That even the cartels that had taken over Mumia Sugar, Honorable Speaker, because they enjoyed the protection of state, state protection because of state capture, Honorable Speaker, we must today tell them loudly enough that that protection is gone and it shall never come back. And therefore, they must now socialize themselves to the Mambo ni Matatu gospel. And that they must get used to it. And that includes also their sponsors, Honorable Speaker. Because if they were facilitated through state capture, they had people who had access to political power who protected them, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, even as Honorable Navulindo speaks about Mumias, and I know the Wanga people are very keen on Mumias because they surround that area of Mumias. And I know his party leader because he's a member of the ODM also owes Mumias Sugar Company close to above 300 million shillings. I want to ask the Honorable Navulindo to ask the party leader of ODM to now pay up the money he owes to Mumias Sugar Company yes. so that Mumias Sugar Company also benefits from this commercialization, Honorable Speaker. Yes, because we order. cannot have a situation order, where majority. We are... There's a point of order from Wandai. Mr. Speaker, I think we are doing so well up the point where Honorable Chungwa has started digress in a very, very fundamental way. Mr. Speaker, it is not right within our standing orders for Honorable Chungwa to allege or to claim 
that the leader of ODM, and there's only one leader of ODM. There is only one leader of ODM. That the leader of ODM owes Mumia's sugar company 300 billion shillings. Why, why, why would that be an allegation allowed to happen in this, on the floor of this house? You all know. You all know. So can he table evidence that uh, the leader of ODM owes Mumia's company that kind of money? Or withdraw and apologize? Because otherwise that would be scandalizing in the name of somebody who cannot defend themselves on the floor of this house. Mr. Speaker, I plead with you. Honorable Speaker, your time is up. Honorable Speaker, you know, Honorable Speaker, I was saying it is only right that if you are writing off debts owed to the public, owed by these sugar companies to KRA, and that is public money, even individuals and private companies that all the sugar companies should and must pay up. Honorable Speaker, on the question of the leader of ODM, it is in public domain, including documents tabled in this house previously, including audit reports that he, does, he the leader of ODM, Oz Mumias, Namambo Limatatu, he has to pay.